I'm Jamie. I'm the Kubota Tech here at Great Plains Kubota and Ada, and these are some things that you can do to ensure the life and the productivity of your tractor. Air filter. You want to look for torn element. Make sure it's not covered up. Make sure it's not discolored or stained. And uh, the easiest way to do that is hold it up look through it and make sure you can see sunlight. If you can't, then it's time to replace your filter. The center filter should never be dirty. If it's dirty, replace it. You want to be sure to wipe out the cap. Paying attention to the ridge underneath. And every now and then you want to squeeze that up and make sure there's nothing restricting it. A good rule of thumb for your air filter, check it every eight hours. If you're in a harsh or more severe climate, check it more often. Your fan belt should have about 10 millimeters of deflection. If it doesn't, it needs to be tightened. Break the alternator bolt loose. Pull until you reach the desired amount of deflection on the belt, which again is about 10 millimeters. Tighten your bolt. Make sure to check your fuel and overflow tank. Radiator it's important that this stays clean. Check it off. Look at your radiator. Make sure it's not plugged. If it is, it has a pile of chaff or debris in the front of it. Take an air nozzle. Spin the fan by hand. Put your air nozzle between it and blow the chaff out. Once that's done, put the screen back in. Now we move on to the engine oil. You check it, locate the dipstick. There's two marks. Your oil level needs to be towards the upper register, but never over it. Place a drain pan underneath the oil pan. Locate the two drain plugs. Be sure that you pull the copper gasket with the plug. Install it back onto the plug. Wipe the plug off, let your oil drain in the pan. Once your oil's drained and the plugs are back in, remove the engine oil filter. Be sure that the rubber O-ring comes off with the filter. Install your new filter, careful not to over tighten it. Hand tight and then a quarter turn. Filling the engine up, this would be the old filler plug. Remove it, add the required amount of oil. Check your operator's manual for capacity. You want to start the tractor and run it for a few minutes to be sure that there's no leaks and that your oil light does not stay on. You should check your oil often. If it does need to be changed, the good rule is between 100 and 150 hours. It's important that you locate the grease search on your unit, which can be found in the operator's manual. If you will look at this one. Be sure to keep them clean and be sure the little ball in the end floats freely. You can press it in with your fingernail or a pick. Wipe it off, put the grease gun on it and squeeze the required amount of grease. It's generally when you can see the grease just start to squeeze out of the joint, that's all you need. If you look and you see all the hollow space in here, there's lots of linkages and control levers, you want to be sure to keep those areas clean. Remove all the sticks, chaff, debris, wash your tractor periodically. 
you know, if it's covered up, wash it because it can hamper the movement of these rods, leading to a malfunction. Be sure that your lug nuts are tight. Battery. Remove the protective boot. Make sure there's no corrosion on your terminals. If there are, simply disconnect them, clean them, reinstall the connector, reinstall the boot. Be sure your battery going down remains tight. Tight, but do not bend the edges of it. If you see the engine's bending down, you're over tightening it. Another area that you need to pay attention to on your tractor is the transmission hydraulic fluid. You see them? X4700 has a sight glass that's located on the left side of the rear axle, halfway up. This is the hydraulic filter. You want to be sure to check your operator's manual for time uh, to change the transmission fluid and the filters. When you change your filter, you want to check your loader lines, be sure there's no leaks. Be sure it's not bent or deformed in any way. Also check your loader valve. You want to make sure there's no leaks. You want to make sure your quick couples are free. You want to look for deformed or crushed lines or any kind of cuts that can lead to a malfunction later on. Another common mistake that's made is a person will turn this knob thinking it's the seat adjustment and they will actually shut the fluid flow off to the three-point. The three-point on the tractor will not work. If you look at the face of the dial, there's an arrow. Simply turn it, and this will open the valve back up. The three-point should function. It's important to keep your clutch free play at the allowable limit in the operator's manual. To adjust the free play, Simply measure, push down on the pedal until you feel resistance. That's where you stop. Take your reading. If the clutch needs to be adjusted, remove the clevis pin, break your lock nut loose, and turn your turnbuckle, either to add free play or remove free play. It's critical that you check your clutch adjustment this can, if, if it runs too much free play, you can wind up burning the clutch up. If it doesn't have enough, you can still wind up burning the clutch up in it. So it's critical that your adjustment stays in specs with your operator's manual.